Hi there. And I'm back on this pasture, hooray. And even better, it's windy, but wind holds no fear for me anymore. Because I found something online, a plug-in, that cuts out wind noise. So hopefully, I'll still do my best to shield wind, but um, if the worst comes to the worst, then we've got it covered, hopefully. And I found a couple of really cool things already. I'll show you in a minute, including another really nice thimble, if you didn't see my last video. I started digging this without filming and it sounded better now, so I thought I'd turn the cameras on. I don't know if you can hear that. It's pretty faint, but it has to be here now. Conditions are perfect. It's been raining solidly in the ground. Right, it's out. And it's, and it's iron. Rats. I thought that might have been something. Well, it's iron, but it's very unusual iron. It's the, it's the top of a nail of sorts, I think. But, ah. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. I'll just check with the pinpointer just in case. No. But look at what I have found already. A lovely little bit of buckle with the most beautiful design on it. And another thimble, a nice early thimble. I, I'm not crazy about thimbles, I've said it before, I'll say it again. But that's a really nice one, and again, quite early. So, mm, so this feels bringing up the artifact still. I'm digging up quite a lot of dodgy stuff today, but in these conditions, when you can get really deep, I've got to really. And they are very squeaky, a lot of the signals here at the moment. Got my speakers playing up something chronic, I'm going to have to do something about the wires of all that. Well, that's a really good sign. Gosh, it's windy, I'm sorry. There must be something about weather and metal detecting. Every time we try and film, the wind comes in, something chronic. Well, that's nice and deep, whatever it is. If it's at that depth, we've got a really good chance of it being something tasty. I bet it's iron again. I've been digging so much today. I don't dig a lot of iron, generally. I like to think if I am digging it, I'm doing it on purpose. Wow, well that's just, doesn't get better than that. It's probably lead. Nope, it's a lovely buckle, hooray. Wow, what a beauty. What an absolute beauty. Look at that. Gosh. 
Well, that's really, really cheered me up because it's been hard going today. Wow. Very, now that looks like a very strange pin to it. And that might be, that might be um, iron, quite sort of iron based. And that's my, why it might have been giving that sort of signal. But gosh, can't ask for more than that. That's a beauty. Well, that's quite nice too, but that's quite close to the surface. I really wouldn't be digging these on a normal day because they would be too close to the surface and there'd be ring pools. But at the moment, deeper, slightly deeper targets will be giving clearer signals. And it is, it's deeper than on the surface. It should be just in this section here. And it is, it's just on the top, so we were right to dig it. Sorry if you've heard this all before, but there are hundreds of bottle tops and ring pulls on this land. It gets rented out a lot for stuff. And if you dig every good signal, you'll be here all day without finding anything. You've got to be very picky. And I wouldn't have dug that on a normal day, no way. It's a penny. <laughs> it's just a penny. 1971. Well, that's a very important year. 1971 is my birthday. I know you wouldn't know. I know I look a lot younger. But, um, well, that's really lucky. Find a penny with your birthday on it and then, well, can't go wrong, can you? Oh, it's another slightly squeaky one. <laughs> if I do have to use my new software to edit all this wind out, the quality might not be as good. But it's because it, it uses a lot of funny memory, I think. I don't have my hat today. I left my car window open and it got rained on. Um, but I don't think I need it. It's, it's such a lovely day. Well, it's really squeaky, isn't it? But they are, the signals are squeaky today. God, my speaker's really playing up. I'm gonna need to buy another one. Works jolly well though, I've got to say. <laughs> well, we're out and it's sounding lovely. Gosh, but maybe too close to the surface. But it's tiny, whatever it is. Just a bit of old copper. Could be part of a strap end or something. There are lots of strap ends around. Here, I found several already. Copper segments. Um, but you've got to dig them because these are the things that are left here now. Ah, but there's just signals here still, which is, you know, what we're looking for. Right, enough live digs for the time being. Let's just get digging and see if we can find some nice things. I've been working really hard today and it's been hard work and part of it's because I've been gridding really really 
in a very regimental fashion and it doesn't suit me. I, I do tend to grid vaguely every time I go out, but in this pasture, because I've done it so many times and because conditions are good, I've been really sticking to going very slowly and methodically and I don't enjoy it as much and I just don't find as much. I know I don't. And I know most people say, oh gosh, slower is better. Go as slow as you possibly can. Hardly move your coil. Well, I can't do that. I get bored. Anyway, I've got a really squeaky one to finish on. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very squeaky. Anyway, like always, it's fabulous to be out. It's the most beautiful autumnal day. The colours of these trees, just amazing. Right, what we got here? Well, it's still in there, which is a very good sign always. Then it's lead. Been digging up so much rubbish today. Yeah. <laughs> Just a tiny piece of lead. I am sorry. Well, we found a few nice bits and pieces. Definitely worth coming out. And lovely to get some proper fresh air and all the rest of it. And thank you very much for joining me. And let's hope we have more luck next time. Not that I can complain. God, I've been a lucky bugger recently. I've been finding so many nice things, including stuff today as well. So I'm just being spoiled. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.